Okay, I have opened up a fresh version of Cinema 4D. Let's set up our project quite uh, quickly. Uh, the first thing I would like you to do, go to your edit menu and down here click on project setting or you can use Control D shortcut. Down here uh, under project setting you have this FPS frame per second. Make sure we're going to be using 24 frame per second for this project. It's absolutely up to you but I sort of like to use uh, 24 frame per second. It sort of gives it a filmy look and uh, this is why I use it. Also make sure on your output your frame rate also is 24. Uh, this is the first and the most important thing that you really have to be doing one, whenever you are uh, starting a new project because uh, trying to have the uh, exact amount of frame rate that you want is really important uh, especially when you have to render out all of your frames and uh, import them inside After Effects so the whole thing sort of matches up when you start with the exact frame rate for all, all of your uh, different scenes this is very important so make sure you do it uh, layout wise I uh, use this sort of default layout of Cinema 4D for this project as you can see everything is set up uh, very simply as Cinema 4D is I have a few extra plugins like Xparticle View Extreme and Lawbrook and stuff like that that you possibly don't have and don't panic we're not going to be using them at all so uh, try to ignore this uh, three menu up here these three uh, also I have a few uh, extra icons that I have imported and added to my layout just uh, there are so much uh, there is uh, a lot of views and uh, I really like to have a few uh, icons and tools that I use them a lot in my uh, access uh, immediately so uh, just in order to do that, uh, simply whatever tools that you think you really need it, uh, hold on shift and click on uh, C and you get this uh, pop-up window and you can type whatever tool that uh, you want. For example, if I uh, type in a box, it gives me a box and I can uh, put this box wherever I want. If I type in, for example, a, a render here, you have different uh, options. For example, this render region that might be uh, very useful I can just click and drag it and add it to my layout whenever I want as you can see and it will be added to your layout and you just add this uh, uh, object and add these tools that you want to this part here uh, and uh, the only plugin that I possibly use it throughout this course is a free plugin called solo magic it's an absolutely useful plugin that should be a part of cinema 4d and I really hope Max and uh, thinks about adding this uh, simple little but really useful tool and it's called Magic Solo. Magic Solo is a plugin by uh, Nitro Man uh, and you can go to uh, his website uh, there you go nitro40.com block freebies magic uh, solos you just go to nitro40.com uh, you got these freebies and down here you have Magic Solo click on this and you have this page and you can simply download the uh, last version of the Magic Solo and uh, basically what the Magic Solo does it allows you to uh, go through and uh, isolate your object, isolate your object really simply uh, and uh, this is very useful otherwise you have to if you want to uh, isolate an object you have to actually uh, uh, define layers and uh, solo out those layers and that's uh, sorta and not uh, what you want so uh, we have this magic solo just install the plugin and uh, add it to your layout so you have access I have a null I have this uh, scroll uh, I have this selection filter I have this uh, scroll to first active I have this axis center which is really useful and you got this reset PSR and this uh, transfer tool so uh, in the next section we're gonna start and set up our scene and uh, the next section will be possibly uh, dedicated to our main cloners. We're going to be setting up our main cloners, setting up our uh, studio scene, setting up our effectors and get the uh, first motion going. So see you in the next section.